what's poppin' motherfuckers? I'm the coming attraction, and we back at it like a crack addict with another 2K video. If you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. You guys don't want to miss a single video, but comment of the day goes to Mr. Clean. As always, though, we do have a miss from our daily sponsor. If you want to stack 2K accounts, go hit them up, but let's get into it. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Oh boy. James Harden got traded again. It really seems like he wants to play for every team in the league. So today we're taking James Harden and putting him on every single team except the Brooklyn Nets. Clearly he's got a problem with these dudes for some reason. So we're going to give him what he wants and put him on every other team. Just to run through some teams. Harden will obviously be playing with Embiid in the Sixers. Giannis and James Harden will now be a duo. Got a big three of James Harden, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown. James Harden is on the Knicks. Good luck with that one, buddy. James Harden and Russell Westbrook team back up on the Lakers. I'm sure he's thrilled about that. Like I said, the only team he's not on is the Nets. How funny would it be if they won the title? Let's get to the All-Star break and see how it goes. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. James Harden's on the All-Star team. Midway through the season, Miami Heat and Atlanta Cox sit atop the East. So Kyle Lowry, James Harden, Jimmy Butler are doing amazing. And the Hawks are doing well with the duo of Trey Young and James Harden. In the Western Conference, you got the New Orleans Pelicans and the Golden State Warriors at top. Fuck the Pelicans. The CJ McCollum, James Harden, Brandon Ingram, and Zion Williamson would be tough to beat. The only team without a James Harden is the Brooklyn Nets. Currently, they are 30 and 30 and just in the playoff picture in the East. There are three James Hardens in the three-point contest. Let's check that out. The first James Harden up to bat is the Portland Trailblazers version. He's got his money ball rack first. Oh, yeah. Catch me outside, boy. Keep cooking. Oh, my goodness, dude. He's not going to miss this first rack, is he? Getting all five money balls. That's a huge deal, and he didn't miss. This James Harden ended with 30 points. Next, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves James Harden. Him and Anthony Edwards would be a really fun duo. Let's see if he can hit the Mountain Dew four-point shot, though, and he does. And this James does better than the last one. Finishes with 32. Coming up next, though, we got the Denver Nuggets, James Harden. Do you imagine a team with James Harden and Nikola Jokic on the same squad? The dimes on that team would be fucking immaculate. And the three-point shots were not immaculate with this one, though. Only 14. The Timberwolves, James Harden, ends up winning it. Let's get to the end of the season and see how this finishes out. Okay, so Joel Embiid wins MVP of the season. But James Harden of the Dallas Mavericks wins sixth man of the year, averaging 25 points, five rebounds, and six assists. The Philadelphia 76ers edition of James Harden did make All-NBA first team. Then you got the Miami Heat version of James Harden making All-NBA second team, and the Utah Jazz edition of James Harden making All-NBA third team. Definitely don't got to worry about James making any all-defensive teams. So leading the James Hardens in scoring was actually the Dallas Mavericks edition. Right behind him was, well, him too, but it was the 76ers James, and then surprisingly in third was the Oklahoma City James Harden. Oh, the good old days. So the Boston Celtics ended up getting the one seed in the Eastern Conference. Safe to say that this trio would be really good. Of course, the Pelicans get the one seed in the West. Fuck off, you guys especially you fat fuck i find the memphis grizzlies interesting i think adding james harden to john moran in this young core would be deadly but most importantly how did the brooklyn nets do they finished 40 and 42 and lost in the play-in tournament kevin Durant had 23 points kyrie Irving had 22 let's see ben simmons had 10 points 5 rebounds 14 assists that's not bad but i guess james harden ended up being right so here is a look at the full playoff picture. Let's simulate the first round and see what happens. Okay, so we have an interesting second round. As of right now, Luka Doncock is leading the league in scoring. Actually, he's tied with Bradley Beal at 31 and a half. Let's see where the first James Harden comes in at. Of course, it's still the Mavericks version at 25.9. And I don't know why, but I just didn't expect this duo right here to be that damn good. But in the Elite A, we got some interesting matchups. But advancing to the Final Four, we will have New Orleans versus Golden State and Miami versus Milwaukee. So James Harden, Zion Williamson, and CJ McCollum versus Curry, Harden, Thompson, Wiggins, and Green. Oh, goodness, though. It looks like the Warriors are going to get swept. Let's see if James and the Warriors are going to have anything to say about that. It's in Golden State, so that should help them. And this is actually kind of shocking, but it looks like the Warriors actually elected to keep James Harden on the bench and come off as a six man. And Harden looks really weird in this Pelicans jersey. Oh, here we go. The fat show. Turnaround jump shot. When has he ever made that in real life? Midway through the third quarter, and James Harden and New Orleans are running away with it. Clay Thompson trying to score on James Harden, but he misses the layup, gets his own offensive rebound, and James Harden allows a bucket. What do you know? He's not playing any fucking defense. It doesn't matter, though. They won by a lot, and James Harden and the Pelicans will be going to the finals. The Golden State James Harden finished with 26 points and 9 assists, but a whole 
Holy fuck, the Pelicans, James Harden, had 22 points and 16 assists. I got a blowout series over here in the East, too. That's a pretty good fucking lineup for the Heat. Jimmy Butler and James Harden, not sure how well of a duo that would be. Seems like they could clash heads. But let's go ahead and see if they can get the gentleman sweep, I guess. Yep, they can. They win 128 to 123. James Harden of the Heat finished with 30 points and 10 assists. Okay, though, in the finals, we got the Pelicans versus the Heat. Let's simulate it game by game and see exactly what happens. The Heat win game one. Pelicans win game two. Pelicans win game three. Heat win game four. Pelicans win game five. We have a chance for a closeout here. And I have a bit of a conundrum because for me personally, it's fuck Zion Williamson, but I really like James Harden. So if the Pelicans win, it will be mixed emotions for me because you guys already know how I feel about that whole stupid situation. We are midway through the second quarter though and things are not looking too swell for the Heat. James guarding James using the pick and roll though, goes around, shoots a fadeaway jumper and that is beautiful basketball. Come on, get him back, James. Oh yeah, use the pick and roll again. Use that cheese, baby. Going to the basket. Oh my goodness, beautiful dime. Valanciunas up, it's good. But yeah, boys and girls, I'm not gonna waste your time. This was a blowout the entire way. James Harden and the New Orleans Pelicans end up winning the title. There it is, James, lift up the NBA title. Let's see who's gonna win finals MVP though. I have a bad feeling it's gonna be Zion. It's actually James Harden, let's go. Okay, this is kind of best case scenario for the worst case scenario. In the finals, he ended up averaging 22 points a game, five rebounds and almost nine assists. But yeah, uh, that's gonna do it. We gave James Harden exactly what he wants to play for every team in the NBA but the Brooklyn Nets. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications, baby. You guys don't want to miss a single video on this channel, but I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my freaking heart. Thank you for stopping by, and I'm becoming attraction.